on Kababayan today. I'm having a great time talking to this young Filipino American artist by the name of Mariela Angela. If you don't know her, you should because take a look at this amazing work that you just did of Manny Pacquiao, the only Filipino out of all the work that you've done, right? So let's talk about it. Bakit mo na isipan na ipaint si Manny Pacquiao? For my dad. <laughs> my dad is like Team Pacquiao, like, well, all Filipinos are, but my dad is like, it. <laughs> yes, of course. And so he um, asked you, he requested yeah. that you paint Pacquiao. And how many weeks did this take you to make? Oh, or months, you know, I mean, it looks very complicated. Um, two days. <laughs> it took her two <laughs> days to make this work of art. That is really impressive, Mariella. Uh, tell us about your process for when you create portraiture. How do you do it? Do you work off a photo? Do you look at videos? Uh, I just work off a photo off my phone. So I have my off phone in one hand and then the paintbrush here. Imagine that. So, okay, you're using digital technology, right, um, in your artwork because you're, you're, you're looking just from your phone, from the camera in your phone, di ba? May litrato doon. Tapos, pinapaint mo na. Ang galing naman. Okay, so, uh, I know that you had a show recently. Congratulations. Thank it you was so very much. well received. Uh, let's talk about that experience. Kamusta? It was a dream come true. I mean, for the past two years, you know, I always say my biggest aspiration is to have my own solo show. And it was one of those things that you keep telling yourself, but Deep, like you're like okay it might not happen but it's nice to have the dream mm -hmm. so when it happened it was just I was just thinking about it the other day because the entire show was it was a family effort it was we didn't have any sponsors to like pay for the gallery and it was just my parents and a close group of my friends mm -hmm. and it was funny because um, this girl came and she's like are you Filipina and I'm like, yes, why? And she's like, I can tell. At the front, your dad is greeting people. At Aww. the merch table, your mom is there. And it was just, it's it's just, it's nice. Because I think Filipinos were so family-oriented, Daba. Mm. And it's like. But not only that, to, to think that your family is so supportive of what you do. I mean, this is really a blessing, right? They're like my rock. Without them, I wouldn't be here. I. Like, I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't be who I am without them. And it's, they've really shaped me to be the person and the artist I am. That's amazing. Uh, good job, mom and dad, diba? Right? <laughs> to support uh, your children in their passions. I mean, that's a great thing, and that's really a blessing. So before we go, I just want to know, how can people get in touch with you? Because I believe that everybody should at least be able to have a portraiture, if not of themselves, of their family. Do you do families? Yes, I do. Oh, you do <laughs> families. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, so how can people get in touch with you? Um, they can just reach me at my website at mariellaangela.com, and all my contact information is there. And just follow me on Instagram. It's, it's Marielle, and just everything's on my website. Okay, well, I'm so happy that you took the time to come here. Before you go, though, I have to say, if people get in touch with you, um, what is your process like in terms of working with them? It also takes you just two days because that's pretty impressive. I mean, you can take your time, right? <laughs> um, but usually, what is the process for when people want to get their portraiture done? Um, have you had experiences where you actually paint them live? Um, or you really would rather work off of a photo? I mean, I could paint them live, but I don't know if they want to stay in my room for two days. <laughs> I mean, my mom will make adobo, will like bring you guys some, like, oh, is, oh yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, it is, um, since I do a lot of international orders, so if someone in the Philippines, they want me to paint them, like they just email me the picture, it'll take a week and then a week to dry and then I'll just ship it to you. So That is amazing. Okay, so you use oil paint, mm -hmm. right? Um, and what are sort of the procedures? Um, are there different sizes? I mean, all of this information is on your website if they want to get it done? Um, they can just email me. The, it does vary. The prices vary on size. Mm -hmm. But everything, if you contact, it's always me behind the screen. So it's not going to be like an automated thing. 
uh -huh. it's gonna be me so we can talk like I'll be like how's your day oh, okay so what do you want like okay so you get nice. a chance to really be able to talk to you to really talk about what you want you know and um, to be able to talk to the artist that's actually doing the work it, it's a very special thing to be able to say that I have a, a work of art that was commissioned for me you know it's a special thing I've been fortunate that um, somebody asked me to be one of their models um, one of my mentors director Al Quinn he did a pen and ink pen and ink you know like little dots and then all of a sudden it's you and and it's just so amazing to be able to hang that on your wall so I appreciate all the work that you do and not just you know being able to be commissioned but you know your your work with hip-hop lastly before we go uh, a lot of our viewers are probably wondering what is it about hip-hop that you love what is it I personally love the music but I think I was able to as I got older I started to realize that a lot of people do question like why like bucket yeah. yeah and it's just that as an Asian American I mean we're complete we're from completely different worlds me and them and it's like I'm still able to find a common ground and that common ground is in my art I mean I can't personally say that I went through the struggles that they went to went through but I'm able to relate to them and able to get their pain and put it into a canvas and just it's a collaborative piece like it's the way I'm able to connect with them. Yeah. And I think that's that's what it's really about. Yeah. You know, that's what my art's about. Okay. Well, I'm so glad you're here to talk about your art. I wish I had my shades on because whenever I meet young, bright <laughs> uh, Filipino Americans who've got a bright future ahead of them, I got to be wearing my shades. <laughs> Mariella, thank you so much for being here. And of course, thank you also to Mariella's mom who reached out to us uh, to share this great news. You should be celebrated in our community. We are so proud of the work that you do. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, we can't wait to see what your bright future has ahead of you. All right, so guys, please get in touch with Mariella. We have her details, um, and you can also email us if you have any questions um, to get in touch with Mariella, but you can go to her website or you can check her out on Instagram.